What's up guys? We're changing some coil springs today. And these ones I can get my coil spring compressor on, but the new ones, they have more coil to them. And if I try to set my coil spring compressor up, it just, there's not enough room. But that's fine. We'll get her done anyway. It's got the tire off, 09 Buick Conclave. 7 eighths or 22 millimeter on the lug nuts, 14 millimeter on the caliper, get that out of the way because the brake hose will get too tight if you don't take that off. Thing I'm gonna start off with is a sway bar link. I'm gonna disconnect that. Got my vice grips on the flat spot of the sway bar link and a 13 millimeter on the top nut. And it's pretty tough. These like to snap off because they're so thin. This one's coming off. I lubricated it beforehand. Now it's getting kind of tight. I don't really want to snap it. I'm gonna tighten it back down a little bit, kind of work it back and forth. Came off the first few threads pretty easy. And then, run low on juice. And then started getting stiff. So I worked it back down. A little more spray, work it back loose. Voila! Working it back and forth, penetrating blaster. Let's go. That's how it's done, son. No snappage. All right, now to the real business part. We're gonna zip the shock off. We'll need a 21 millimeter wrench here at the bottom, 21 millimeter socket. We'll zip this shock out. Make sure you know where everything goes. as far as the shock, bolt, and the control arm bolts we're gonna be taking off. It might be a slightly different length or something like that. I've got this jack supporting the lower control arm. There's a little notch that a board fits in quite nicely. This is a nice heavy duty board here. Shock is zipped off. It's a real light caliper. I'm not worried about hanging it up. All right, now we got this dark control arm in the mid section. It's got this real shallow head on it. It's 21 millimeter. And we'll switch to our 21 millimeter deep well. So it's this little, this middle control arm lateral arm it's got this little shallow head on it which makes it hard to grab with a with a wrench you don't want to strip it out they barely see it it's just the position they have it in it sucks There we go, we got it. With this board supporting the weight of the vehicle, everything comes apart nicely. And now, we've got this upper control arm here. Black. Shiny black upper one. We'll go with my shallow 21. We'll zip this guy out of there. We'll find that washer just fell down. There it is. Perfect. Let's put this washer. A nut on there. First, I'm gonna 
get this bolt back out of the way a little bit. A couple of taps. It's got a pointy end, so you're not going to hurt the threads. Giving it love taps. There you go. I'm not going to confuse that bolt because it's right there. Put this caliper back over the other way. Make sure this metal control arm doesn't get in the way of anything because it can. Now we're ready to come down and decompress this coil spring. This setup doesn't worry me too much. Usually if I do this style, I'll put my engine stand underneath here too, my hoist stand. We're just gonna let her down real slowly. Just creeping down. Until it's fully decompressed. So you can put your hand on it, I can move it, I can wiggle it. It's decompressed. But the new replacement coil springs, they're thicker, they require more compression. But your this ABS wire is getting tight. It's just clipped on in a couple spots. I'm gonna unclip that in two spots to get a little more slack. Everything's opened up now. We can kind of press down to get a little more on this guy. Or we could grab a big bar. all the dust out of that guy. Any dirt or anything out of there. Doesn't look too dirty. It's got this big clump of rust here. Surface rust. All right, springs out. Easy peasy, right? There's a bunch of dirt in here. So I'm just gonna scrape that out. It'll like chisel it out. There's a lot. So we got our cushion. We got another piece right here. They kind of line up a little bit. We got our cushion here. Wipe the dust out of that. I'm gonna grab my new spring. It's got an extra coil or two on it. I thought I had the wrong part, but there's no up or down on this. They're the same, the spring. All the replacement coil springs I found were exactly the same. We want to put the top in first. Now pull this arm down with my bar. There we go. And fit the bottom in. Now the bottom is going to fit into a little groove. There's a little step. And that's where your coil spring ends. Make sure it's in that step get her into position there we go she's in position get my bar out of the way bring my jack back up where i want it there we go and it popped into place on its own didn't it Start jacking her up on that spot, that little flat spot. As you see, this middle control arm tried to jam up on me. It's sitting right there. Don't let that jam up on you. I'm 
Jacking it up. And this middle control arm goes on the outside frontward facing part. It's a lot safer to just use a jack on the ground instead of extending the jack with a chunk of wood. I recommend you do that. I don't want you guys hurting yourselves. A little bit more until I can line up this middle control arm. This caliper keeps getting my way. I want to line up this middle control arm and get a bolt started so that all the pressure's not on the jack. We've got our bolt with the really flat nut on the end, hex. And no washer on the inside. The hex works on that, works for that. A lot easier to line this up with a extra pair of hands. I have to make do. Jack it up a little more. Come on. I'm trying to hold three things with two hands and pressure. It just, it's not working out for me. I'll get it though. There we go. Got the bolt through. Woo! Give her a little tap. All right, I got enough threads to get the washer nut on now. Perfect. Looks like my strut's pretty much lined, or my my shock is pretty much lined up. Yep, it's lined up. Boom, that one's in. Grab us some things from this side. All right, but I forgot about my sway bar link. That's no good. Let's see if I can get a good fry on something to get this sway bar link in its home it's almost there ah there we go the sway bar is over the sway bar link now and we got this long bolt here to connect the upper control arm to Good at tapping in a little bit. It's a little too far, right? Out the bolt. We're gonna set this upper control arm onto this bolt. Give it a few taps from this side. Perfect. Make sure your coil spring is in its seats. Looking good. 
Now everything is attached loosely except for sway bar link. We'll put that bushing and that nut back on. Get her started. Perfect. And we can start tightening everything back up. I'll just start with this shock, why not? Everything 21 millimeter. I like that they made it easy on us. You're gonna want all these bolts nice and tight. Um, there we go with this one. Wrench on one side, and back down the other. Starting to smush my hand against the wrench. be nice and tight. I need my deep well 21 for this middle lateral arm, control arm. This is the one you can barely see with a wrench on the other side. This guy is quite annoying. I'm gonna use a 21 socket with a ratchet. Maybe that'll get in there a little better. Let's see. See if that helps. Bring it in from this side. Go. Why would they put a shallow head on this bolt? It makes no sense. It's just what they do. It's 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 absolutely ridiculous. There's there's no need to put a bolt with a shallow head on. I keep tightening it little by little before it vibrates off. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's stuff like this that it seems like the car manufacturers are just trying to make mechanics mad because there's no there's no call for it. There's no there's no reason for it. It's got such a shallow head on it, and there's absolutely no reason for it. All it does is make us bust our fingers. There we go. I was able to kind of steady it up against the back of the knuckle. It's tight now. Beautiful. Now I'm going to tighten up the sway bar link. Got my 13 ratcheter here. I don't know where my deep well 13 went. I've had a bunch, of, lots of them. Slowly lose them. If you put a half inch on there, it's just too tight. You end up having to hammer it off or something. This bolt's so thin. I don't want to mess with it. anything but the right size. We're going to tighten this until it gets nice and tight and the bushings squeeze together a bit. Don't tighten it up to the point that you're going to snap this long bolt. So this is how you replace the sway bar links. If you want to if you run into where you have to replace the sway bar link, then this is how you replace it. You got another 13 on the bottom. And if you're replacing it, snap that nut right off. Who cares? 
the sway bar link goes nut with a washer bushing small side into the control arm another bushing small side in the control arm washer then you got the long the long bolt going through another washer bushing bushing on top of the sway bar and then your other nut with the washer all right now it's getting tight so we know we're almost there there we go that's as tight as she gets so it's come to a point where you bottom out the threads depending on what style you're using everything's put back together we can lower our jack Like I said, it's a lot safer just putting the jack right on the lower control arm. If you're on the ground, you know, you've got a, your vehicle on jack stands. I'm using my waist and I'm so high up in the air. So I just used that. And I wasn't worried about this vehicle. Been here, done that. So I didn't even use my secondary hoist stand. I'm just gonna pop that pad right back into place. We've got our wheel speed sensor, ABS wire clip back in. There's little slots that these click, clip into. You'll see it on the front side of the control arm. And these little clips can be pesky. Like, hurt your fingers trying to put them in kind of pesky. There we go. Perfect. And caliper back on. We've got our two 14 millimeter bolts in the back. Sometimes these slide bolts just continue spinning. You got to put a wrench on them. Not always, sometimes. See 14 here. Tighten them up real good. Don't tighten them to the point you snap them off in there. There we go. All right, so we got a sway bar link tightened back down, caliper tightened back down, mid and upper lateral links tightened back down, shock tightened back down. Everything's looking good. ABS wheel speed sensor wires clip back into place. Just going to slap the tire back on and that does it. If this helped you out, I'd really appreciate a sub and a like. Any questions, go ahead and just comment down below. Thanks for watching.